Hello children. Good day to you all. I am Mrs. Vanita, English teacher working at ZPSS Anandakani, Badradri, Kotagudam district. Today we will read the poem The Duck and the Kangaroo from your English reader, Unit 1. Said the duck to the kangaroo, Good gracious, how you hook over the fields and the water too, as if you never would stop. My life is a bone in a nasty pot, now long to go out will be. I wish I could hope like you, said the duck to the kangaroo. Please give me a ride on your back, said the duck to the kangaroo. I'll sit quite still and say nothing but quack, 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 quack. The whole of the long day through. And we go to the ree and the jelly bony, over the land and over the sea. Please take me or I do do, said the duck to the kangaroo, said the duck to the kangaroo. Okay, children, hope you enjoyed my song. Now we will know about the poet. The poet is Edward Leo, who lived from 1812 to 1818. He was a British poet. He used to like uh, to write about birds and animals. And uh, he had uh, many uh, writings of these. The poem The Duck and the Kangaroo is a poem with a touch of light humor. Yeah, let's come to the poem now. It's a very beautiful poem. It's a con actually a conversation between the duck and the kangaroo. See what a duck and the kangaroo talks to each other. Said the duck to the kangaroo, good gracious how you have over the fields and the water too, as if you never would stop. My life is a bore in this nasty pond, and I long to go out in the world beyond. I wish I could hop like you, said the duck to the kangaroo. So in the first answer, the duck shows her readiness to go around the world as it is very much bored sitting in the nasty pond all the time. And it really admired the kangaroo jumping and hopping all the time. Please give me a ride on your back, said the duck to the kangaroo. I would sit quite still and say nothing but quack the whole of the long day through. And we had go to the tea and the jelly bowl over the land and over the sea. Please take me a ride, oh do, said the duck to the kangaroo. So even in the second stanza, the duck uh, is talking to the kangaroo, saying they will, uh, they will go around the world. They would go to the D and the jelly bowl. D and the jelly bowl is an imaginary place on earth and it wanted to go to all the imaginary places over the land and over the sea and so it wants the kangaroo to take give a ride in the third stanza the duck talks to uh, the kangaroo talks to the duck this requires some little reflection perhaps on the whole it might bring me luck and there seems but one objection which is if you will let me speak so bold, your feet are unpleasantly wet and cold and would probably give me the rheumatis, said the kangaroo. So, the kangaroo expresses her um, wish to go around the world, but she has an objection. And the objection is that the duck's feet are so cold and wet and so uncomfortable for her that she might get the body pains. She might get the rheumatism. So the duck answers, said the duck 
As I sat on the rocks, I have thought over that completely. And I bought four pairs of worsted socks, which fit my web feet neatly. And to keep out the cold, I bought a cloak. And every day a cigar I'll smoke, all to follow my own dear true love of a kangaroo. So the duck says um, that it already knew that the kangaroo would feel very uncomfortable with the web it had. So it told that it had four pairs of socks which would cover her web and she also brought a clock, a shrug to cover her body and she said she will smoke only one cigar every day and uh, will be very comfortable and it will keep the kangaroo comfortable too. So this kangaroo said, I'm ready, all in the moonlight pale. But to balance me well, dear duck, sit still and quiet at the end of my tail. So away they went with a hop and a bound and they hopped the whole world three times round. And who so happy, oh who, as the duck and the kangaroo. So at the end, in the fifth stanza, the kangaroo shows her readiness to go around the world. And they started their journey in the moon, pale moonlight. And it warned the duck to sit comfortably and not to move. Uh, and it took uh, the duck on his back and went around the world three times so happy. Kangaroo really liked the humbleness, the politeness and the obedience of the duck. And so do the duck like the kangaroo for showing her its willingness and taking it around the world three times. And happily, they moved around the world three times. So this is the happy ending they had. Okay, children, the duck and the kangaroo were very happy at the end, going around the world three times, enjoying each other's company. So from this poem, we can know that with humbleness, with the sweetness, and with the politeness, we can impress, we can please others and get the difficult work done so easily. So here the duck shows how humble it was, how sweet it was and how obedient it was to the kangaroo. The kangaroo when asked um, the duck to sit on its back and do not move, the duck did not move but it steadily sat on the back it firmly uh, rested on the back and it enjoyed the trip all around the world quacking leaping and jumping together so now we we'll, again we'll come to the poem in this poem we have to see the rhyming words in each stanza there are eight lines of which Every line ended with a, a word which rhymes with some other word in the following lines. So, in the very first answer, we can see that the rhyming words here are kangaroo and two, ha and stop, pawn and beyond, you and kangaroo. So, these are the rhyming words kangaroo, two, you and hop, stop, pawn and beyond are the rhyming words in the first stanza. Same way when you come back to the second stanza, back and quack are the rhyming words. Same way you can see other words like uh, through, see, do and all the li all all has the rhyming words up in them so this way you you can 
pick the so many rhyming words in the following lines of the poem the duck and the kangaroo as example i did the first answer for you and it's your turn to do the rhyming words in the second stanza third and fourth and fifth stanzas again once again we will sum up saying that the poet's name is edward lear who was a english poet and uh, he used to write po mainly the writings on the birds and animals the duck and the kangaroo is a poem which has light humor and uh, it is a conversation between the duck and the kangaroo so duck requests so politely so sweetly so obediently uh, to the kangaroo that it wished to go around the world though it had some objections kangaroo showed his or her willingness to to go around the world so both were ready and they went around the world three times and at the end both were happy and both enjoyed each other's company thank you children